If you're having issues launching Ghosts of Tsushima, with the game's crashing on launch, a black screen on launch, or just not opening at all, this video should show you a few fixes to hopefully get things working again. So, first of all, the most likely cause is probably going to be frame generation and or AMD FSR. As weird as it sounds, it's causing issues for a few people. If you're having weird issues where it's crashing when you're launching it, fire it up, and before you click through the little launcher that pops up, in here, simply click Options, then on the Display tab, make sure that frame generation is turned off. For some people, this is causing issues, even though it should be compatible with most, if not all, graphics cards. If you're still having issues, make sure NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is turned off if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card. And finally, upscaling method, try changing this to off. This is probably going to solve whatever crash you're having on startup. As weird as it sounds, for some people, turning off upscaling and or frame generation is fixing the issue when it comes to launching your game. Now, if for some reason you've skipped this launcher step here and you've unticked it in the bottom right, as such, when you try to fire up the game, you won't see this launcher at all. In order to get it back, right-click the game in Steam, choose Properties, and then on the Launch Options section over here, add hyphen hyphen launcher as such, and it should reappear the next time you start the game. So even though we have it unticked, there you go, you can see the launcher is here. If I were to remove this, as such, will be dropped straight into the main game itself anyways, as you can see. Now, obviously, if you haven't already, you've probably got a pop-up saying to update your graphics drivers. If you haven't done so, it's a very good idea to do so, especially if you're running older hardware or more outdated hardware. Besides that, unless you're getting some specific error messages on the screen that you can go ahead and Google, the last thing that I'd probably recommend doing is disabling any kind of overlay, such as Discord or statistics programs like RiverTuner or MSI Afterburner, etc. Those kind of things can cause some weird instant Instability with certain games, causing it to crash before it can even open up. And finally, of course, speaking of instability, if you overclocked your CPU or GPU, anything like that, try and temporarily disable any overclock to see if it fixes launching your games. If it does, then your overclock may be a bit too much for this title in particular. Anyways, those are the general fixes that should hopefully get you back in game. My name's been Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.